you have in your initial comments said that you really very much like the budget and, and the fine print. Uh, walk us through the the view that you have on increased spending because year on year it's been an increase of 35%, but over two years it's a near 70% increase in government spending at a time when we haven't still seen private capex pick up. Will this time do the trick? Well, I think the government is laying very clearly its intent to go forward with investment, with creation of infrastructure, with incentivizing private sector to invest in capex. And I think this is going to lay the foundation for a very robust growth in the economy, which is going to be led by capital investment. COVID impacted us as it did every other economy and private sector did not invest as much as they've invested in the past or as much as we would invest in the future. And I think this budget lays the foundation for a very strong growth based on capital investment, based on simplification of business, ease of doing business, and transparency. Are you looking to invest more, Mr. Goenka? I mean, you would have, being part of uh, the industry body as well, you would have a better sense of whether businesses are thinking of investing more. Because, the, the, you know, we are still in the midst of the pandemic. The virus has not gone anywhere, right? There's still the risk of new variants coming through. And so how is business sentiment shaping up while the government is doing its part? You know, the business sentiment is getting stronger and stronger. And you will see, as I can visualize, a very strong investment cycle stepping in. And over the next six to 12 months, you will see lots of capital investment plans being announced because I can see a lot of planning happening on the ground. 